Okay, back up here. All right, here we go. Let's do a safe. <laughs> okay. What's going on over here? Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and we are 6.53% on the way to Amphibians. Uh, plan for this episode is for us to go out and explore the final area, the northwest part of the map, that we haven't explored yet. Um, and then after that, we'll kind of see where we are uh, on stuff. So, yeah. Um, I don't think I did anything else off camera that I can think of uh, since the last episode. I went out and, uh, wait, did I put another tree spreader down? I, I don't remember. I don't think I did. I think I was going to, and then I got to, oh, no, actually, that's not true. I did, I did put some more heaters down. Yeah, so, so I added six, yeah, I think I added six more tier four heaters, uh, to the mix here. So we did do that, and I think I launched, if I recall right, I think I launched a, um, another heater rocket, a uranium rocket, too. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Let's see uh, how our selling rocket is doing. Okay, it's about halfway there. That's good. Very good indeed. Um, all right, so let's make sure we've got um, a good supply of food. I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna eat one of these now and take two with us. I'm gonna put this bacteria sample away. And um, we'll take we'll take one water with us, but you know we can of course drink from uh, any water sources that we come across as well. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and teleport, or use the teleporter rather. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to take it all the parts we need for a teleporter with us in case we want to set one down and come back that way. That's going to use 331 energy. I am, yeah, we have 561 energy. Okay. Um, I am, I, I'm out of quartz crystals, which means that we're kind of limited now on, on continuing to build more stuff from a power point of view until we can find some more quartz crystals. So hopefully uh, this exploration that we're going to do, uh, plus there's three gold crates that I know of that we haven't looted yet that we're going to check, and maybe we'll luck out and get some quartz crystal from doing those things. All right, let's go ahead and teleport to the lakeside base. Put those in there. And uh, let's head on. Oh, oh, yeah. We're gonna let's do the gold crates first. Two, uh, one of them's over here, on top of this ship. If we have time, I think what we should do is go into all of the ships and get all of the circuit boards out too. I've done some of them, but I haven't done all of them, and I honestly don't remember which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Uh, we don't need this building here any longer either. Um, I'm going to leave you there. He's a flying larva. Uh, okay, yeah, so this gold crate is right up here. I did not know that until someone mentioned it in the comments. And we want the golden seed. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess we'll take all of it for the moment. We can store some stuff in uh, the lakeside base. And let's poke our head in here real quick and see if there are any servers left that I still have yet to deconstruct. Like I said, I don't remember. I've been back into a couple of these ships, but not all of them. Okay, there's nothing back that way. 
Uh, here we go. Okay. Get ourselves some circuit boards because we're starting to use circuit boards for certain things. And I know we'll also be able to make them at some point. It's nice to be able to come back in here and not worry about running out of air now. That's that fusion reactor thing, which I still don't know what we do with that. You know what? I wonder if... What if we put one of the if, if we put the fusion cell thingies in here, and this actually creates energy for us? Hmm. That's something we might need to check. Something we might might need to check and see if that's the deal. Uh, okay. There's also this room in here with some more servers. And we're out of space. Okay, I'm going to drop this and this to pick up these two guys. Uh, seriously? Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I had the deconstructor on. I'm going, are you kidding me? I can't pick those up. All right, I think that's it. Or in this uh, for this ship. Don't see any more servers. Okay, cool. Let's head back down to the lakeside base and drop the stuff off. The next golden chest is actually very close by, and we'll go. Actually, the next two chests are actually really close to here. One's in the labyrinth over there, and one's just on the way over next to the aluminum fields. You know, and I, I think I've done a pretty decent job of finding um, the golden chest on my own, but I just... Uh, we got all that stuff. Yeah, okay. But, um, you know, uh, I just... There's been a couple of situations where I just saw somebody else get it on YouTube not intending to do that, but it just kind of happened that way. Um, and I've also had a couple people in the comments tell me where some of them are. And, you know, that's... <clears throat> I should have been a little more clear about not giving away those kind of spoilers. It's not that big a deal, too. I mean, it's not, not, not like I'm losing any sleep over it. But it is kind of fun to try and discover those things on my own. Because this is the only time I'll ever play this game all the way through for the first time, right? After that, we'll kind of know all of that stuff, except for, you know, of course, new content that they add, which I'm very excited uh, for. We're supposed to get two additional, or two new biomes, I believe, with the next update, which is going to be great. Okay, let's go through here. Yeah, we got some more servers here. Okay, so that takes care of that ship. There's a couple of places. The ship that's out in the desert, which we're going to go to in a bit here. Um, there's a couple of um, areas that apparently I missed there, too, which we'll do now. Let's also grab any zeolite that we come across. The nice thing about the zeolite, though, is that we can... Um, is that chest under here? It's underneath one of these little walkways here. Maybe it's over this one. Uh, you know, at least we can use an extractor on... There it is, on the zeolite. Okay, so just so you know, um, this is on the way over to the aluminum fields. And right underneath this rock here is a gold chest. And we'll take all of that. Nice. Okay, so that's the second gold chest. And the third one's in the labyrinth, and after that, I don't know where any more gold chests are. If you are watching this video and you know where some more are that I haven't found, please do not tell me. I would like to find those on my own if I can. And if I don't find them on my own, well, then maybe we'll find them in the next playthrough. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, the... Uh, the chest is uh, here in the labyrinth. What we need to do is go around this way, I think. And I, 
believe it's around here. Yeah, right there. Okay, so there's the chest. So if, if you want to know where it is, that's the, the wreck. And if you go to the west of the wreck, directly to the west, and then hang a Louie, the chest is around here. All right, we'll take that. So I, I will, on occasion, watch other people play the games that I'm playing, but I never watch ahead of where I am. I always watch them do content that I've already done uh, just for, for a couple reasons, really, to see to see how they handled it, A, and also, you know, to uh, in case I missed something. And uh, so I have been watching um, a couple of different YouTubers also play this game, and that's how I discovered two of those three chests. Uh, one of them was uh, I discovered, well, I, I found out about it because I was told by one of you guys, so not a big deal. Again, I really, it's, we're certainly not losing any sleep over it by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, it's kind of fun to find that stuff on your own if you can. I'm pretty sure the last time we were in that wreck up there, we already had the tier two deconstructor because there were quite a few servers in there, and I'm pretty sure we took them all apart for circuit boards. So we're just offloading stuff into each of these, but we want to keep all of the things we need to make a teleporter, which are, are all of those things. Okay, let's just top off our food. All right, now we're going to go to the desert ship, which is this guy out here, because this is along the way to the biome that we need to go to. And there's, apparently I missed a deconstructible wall in here. One of you guys were telling me in the comments. And I also discovered that um, there's an area you can get to in the, in the bridge there. So we'll check those two things out. So yeah, if you just come up to this and do the climb thing, you can climb up to the bridge. Um, and then there's an area down here that has this. Oh, look at that, a tier two mutagen. Oh, uh, and a tier three, nice. Let's get some money. Uh, we will definitely take all of that stuff. Um, I was asking or talking, I guess, about the why we hadn't gotten the tier two mutagen before we got the tier three. And it's just because I guess I'm a little bit behind on insects. I think it is. Um, when, you know, when you look at the, the tech tree, I'm not going to pick that up. So, okay. And then let's go into the ship proper and see if we can find that deconstructible wall that I was told I missed. I'm going to take all of this stuff apart too, but let's just temporarily store um, yeah, store that stuff in there. I want to make sure I still have all the stuff for the teleporter in case I forget to grab that. Plus, uh, I'm not so sure if I got all the servers in here either, so there's that as well. Okay, so yeah, we come in here and then we go down. Um, eggplant seed, I don't think we need that. We'll leave it there. If we ever do need it, we know where it's at. Is that the wall? Nope, that's not the deconstructible wall that I missed, okay. One thing I wish we could do is, um, I wish the game would let us take more things apart, you know, do more salvage. So, I mean, I just like games that do salvage in general. So, that would be cool. More eggplant seeds. More eggplant seeds. 
All right, I'm not seeing any deconstructible walls in this area. What about that? Nope. What about this? Nope. Okay, yeah. Um, let's uh, head back up then. And we'll go the other direction. Make sure this is on the deconstructor. Here's some servers. Um, all right, let's hang a Louie. Apparently there's servers on the other side of this with something inside of it. Okay. Uh, we are in here without a water thing. That is not good. My bad. Um, okay. Well, we need to get out of here soon. Is this it? No. How about that? This? Eggplant seed? Nothing deconstructible there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any deconstructible walls. Let's go up this ladder. Maybe it's up here. Here? No? I mean, there's obviously stuff behind that wall that it's letting us hit. Servers, that's good. I wonder if that's where we were when we hit the other one. I don't know. It's a lot of circuit boards. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, well, if you, um, the individual who told me that I missed a wall in this ship, if you would leave another comment on this video and tell me give me a clue anyways on where that wall is I'd appreciate it because I am not uh, I'm not seeing it totally not seeing it in here okay we need to get out of here and get some water you'd think I'd learn my lesson by now and not be Sans a water bottle. Well, actually, I wasn't. Um, the thing is, is that I, I, I did a you know place all inside the. Is that a rare? No. Uh, back at the lakeside base, and I didn't. Um, all right. Yeah, we'll have to leave this here. Oh, we have water right here. We're good. We're good. I still should have a bottle of water with me, though. Yeah, so just let me know um, in the comments where that deconstructible wall is that I missed in here, because I would did I didn't see it. That doesn't mean it's not there, uh, but I didn't see it, obviously, right? Okay. What we're gonna do is actually here. We're doing this. We're doing things the hard way. Let's do this. Let's set this down here. Let's go to the lakeside base to drop off, and then we'll come back here and keep. Keep on keeping on. There's my water bottle right there. But still, I should have been paying attention when I told everything to go in there. All right. We, we actually want... All right. What are we missing for this? Oh, no. We, we set it down. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Let's grab an extra bean and take it with us, too. Just, just, just because. All right, let's go back to the teleporter here. It's cool that we can just set these down wherever, too, you know. 
We don't have to like build a shack for him or anything like that. Oh damn it! You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab the warden's key. All right, we'll have to go back and and get that, which we can do because we have a teleporter. It's a beautiful thing. Look at these flowers, man. These are cool looking. The game really uh, set up a nice little area over here with the vegetation. Very cool. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's go over to the cave that has the warden's altar thing. We'll set down our teleporter and then we'll run back and grab it. Um, let's check our level two. Okay, we're at 10.2. Nice. Uh, that Warden's Key thingamadoodle is in miscellaneous. Let's grab it. And we'll put the zeolite back here. And since we are back at the base, let's grab a high-quality food. And I think we're good to go. Okay, let's head back in here, and um, there's a there's another one of those big walls back here that we got to open up. Right here. Okay, let's see what happens. This is a trip. It's a trip and a half. Wow, this goes way the hell down here. That looks weird. Got another key over here. No coordinates there, though. This is really bizarre. Okay, we probably don't want to go down there. Oh, wow, look at this. It's an underground city. I was not expecting this. I mean, I didn't really know what I was expecting. Wow. All right, uh... It's all been kind of taken over by the sand. Yes, I know we need to put the key in there, but I want to look around first before we do that, because I don't know what's going to happen once we do. Look at this, man. Okay. I wonder if we... There's probably some... Oh, what's this? Okay. Orbital drainage. Defense device. Observation log. The device is working as intended and our tests... Our tests are conclusive. <coughs> 
They need to get somebody working on the grammar of these messages before they release 1 0. <laughs> if ever the one calling themselves humans approach this planet, it will drain the energy of their ships and prevent, prevent them from communicating. Our presupposition is that the device will effectively reduce their efforts to approach this part of the infinitude, leading them to spread elsewhere if they continue doing so. Our calculations are conclusive. This will give us at least a few hundred years of quietude. Hmm. So the wardens, uh, if everyone approach planet, it will drain the energy of their ships and prevent them from communicating. So the wardens are the ones that have tried to keep the humans away. How interesting is that? They're supposed to be adding more to the story too in 1-0. Let's go this way. What the hell? All right, before we mess with that thing, we better go put the key in, because maybe we need to. Oh, shit. My, my rocket doesn't work in here. Okay. Well, had I known that, I wouldn't have jumped from 100 feet up. Oh, that's another key. Okay. Uh. So was there anything? Uh, there wasn't anything in here but sand, right? Okay. This is a trip, man. So... Okay, that led up to where we just were and fell down and broke our leg. Is there anything over here? It does not appear like there is. Okay. We have at least one thing of water, right? Okay. All right, let's go back up that way. Yeah, my jetpack does not work in here. That is weird. Hmm. Can we go over here and do anything? Guess not. What about back over in here? Not really. So we have two keys now in our inventory. Not sure what we're going to do with them. Maybe it has something to do with that glowing orb we saw. So that was just the message that we read. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go over here first. I don't know what to think about that glowing orb, but... Uh, All right, let's take another uh, screenshot of that those coordinates. And we have three warden's keys now. I don't see anything back there. I'm waiting for the last possible second to drink so we can stretch it out as long as possible. Okay, let's go see what this orb is about. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? That, that looks like the planet. Or at least the planet before we did anything with it. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to check out those coordinates that I took the screenshot of. And uh, I think, uh, unless I miss something, which is entirely possible, I think that's all we can do in here. And we're not jumping off this time.
Okay. Uh, yeah, we took the key out of there, so there's no point in putting it back in. Let's uh, vominos and... But I saw something red glowing over here. It's not. And we'll have to check out those coordinates. Pulled the key from this too. And I don't see anything else in this room. Oh, we got a new tree seed. Nice. Shriox. Okay, now my jetpack works. Should we pull this back out? Oh, no, it's locked. Hmm, okay, so I can't take it back out. Apparently, we might have to go back in there at some point and do something with that planet, I guess. Um, all right, let's run back down here and fill up our, uh, get a drink of water. There we go. Gauge is already full. This next uh, and final biome that we're going to has a bunch of water in it, so I think we'll just keep pressing on here. I only know that because of the map. Oh, I bet this has stuff inside of it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, another production multiplier fuse. All right, that gives us two of those. Now I think I will sell that so we can, uh, so we can get the, um, oh, whose one was it? The, the, the better storage. Can I take this apart? Uh-uh. Alright, that was a nice find. I normally wouldn't sell it. I'd use it for production chains, but again, you know, we're, uh, we're trying to wrap this series up in preparation for the new one. Oh, look at this place. I have not ever been over here. I have purposefully avoided it because I wanted to experience it for the first time on camera with you guys. Very nice and green over here. This could be a cool place to have a have a base. It's relatively flat. Um yeah, I got I got food. It's kind of like a, almost like a Riverlands type of feel. Oh, there's a chest. We should check everything, of course. Well, we would anyways, but um, we have a... Since we're in the end game, we get good stuff from these chests. So yeah, look at that stuff. That's beautiful. Okay. Um. Tell you what, let's... Let's kind of go around the perimeter in a clockwise direction. And then we'll finish off in the center. Did I just see something up here? No, I guess not. So yeah, this could be this could be a fun place to to build our base for season two. And we could just have kind of a sprawling complex with the water. I mean the water won't be there un until it comes in, of course, but Something to think about. 
But, you know, again, they're adding a couple of new biomes, too, so... Who knows what those are going to be? Add another chest and some more zeolite. Okay, let's consume those now. And, um... What we're going to do is put down our teleporter, go home, drop stuff off, come back and get more stuff. That's a rare. Um, let's grab him and can we get all of this. Uh, I want to, I'd rather take. Um, oh, food. There we go. I want this, this, and that. That stuff's not as important. Okay, cool. I'm going to drop stuff off. I'll meet you guys back there, and we'll continue our exploration. This is fun. Oh, and also, by the way, we are 13.05%. Hey, we just learned the circuit board. Now we can make our own if we need to. Haven't needed to so far, but that doesn't mean we won't. Okay. Also, guys, again, um, I know some of you might cringe at me doing this, but... I'm going to I'm going to sell one of these production fuses. I would never probably ever do this um in the future. But for now because we're fast tracking things, we're going to sell it. And that will allow us to to buy the the better uh storage because I want to see what that's all about. And maybe, you know, maybe those do become more common later on. Um, and maybe it's not like as big of a deal as I'm thinking it is to sell that. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm sure some of you will let me know in the comments if that was a, a bad, bad mistake. In this particular instance, though, I won't agree with you. But I would if we weren't fast-tracking things. Okay. But you can still let me know anyways. <laughs> uh, all right. A lot of this stuff just goes in here already, which is great. And then we'll just keep the warden key thingies in the miscellaneous for now. And I did screenshot those cords so we can investigate that at some point. But I wanna I wanna investigate the biome right now. It's kind of funny the butterfly thingy I put outside, they they come into the house a little bit on that side and on this side. It's very cool. Alright, let's um get ourselves an extra water and an extra food. And you know what I actually I'm going to do too is let's fast track this rocket here. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready to head back and keep on exploring. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Don't care about it. I don't think we need it. When I'm finished with this first playthrough... Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is 
get on the wiki and or look up some maps and just find out what all these regions are named. That way we know for future reference. Alright, what are you going to give us? We'll take this, 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 and that. And we'll leave the rest of that stuff. Oh, look at this. These are those coordinates, aren't they? Uh, hold on a sec. Sixty five, one oh nine, twenty five hundred. Yeah, and we, <laughs> and we took the keys back too, uh, but we can fix that real quick. Don't you just love teleporters? Let's see. Yeah, grab a key. And we might as well drop this stuff off. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh shit, we need all three of them. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Passageway. Okay. Our jetpack still works. Where are we at? Oh, look at this. Oh, now the jetpack doesn't work. That's weird. Why doesn't it work when you go into these places? I can drink the water. Maybe I shouldn't. Ancient paradise. Find the ancient paradise. Okay, we got that achievement. Wow. So this is the place where the uh, the wardens hold up, huh? Definitely got to get a screenshot of this. Is there anything over here? Is there anything in the water? Oh, this water is not really deep. Go up here. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to. Oh, nice tier three ore extractor. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we got another key. Grab that. Damn. All right. You know what? Um,. I think we're going to do this as the screenshot instead. 
That's just crazy. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's go this way first. This walkway looks like it's usable. I still don't know why they disabled our jetpack, though. Uh, Alright, I guess that's as far as that way as we can go. This is quite the little trek up here. Okay, there's another key. Alright. Is that the reason why we came up here? Probably. On this side, anyway. Look at that dome. Alright, let's go back down. Make sure we don't fall. Uh, yeah, that part about not falling. Let's take a drink of water. Here's another key. Okay, so that's three keys. How the hell did I miss that? <laughs> Walked right in front of it. Um, oh no, maybe we didn't come over here. This is this is new. All right, let's go this way. Okay, let's see what this has to say. Once we lived. That's it. Okay, we got to find two more keys. Two more keys. Let's go up here. Okay, here's the fourth key. And how much you want to bet the fifth one's going to be down this way? Or not? I thought that was going to go into a big underground place, but apparently we need to go. Oh, look at that money. Yeah, baby. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. Let's go around over this way. Here we go. Okay. This will probably lead to where we need to go. It's got a big water wheel up there. That is neat. Climb. Okay, before we climb that, let's just peek our head around the corner here. Okay, there's nothing over here. There we go. Okay, so we got all five keys this time. Climb back down. No, we don't want to go that way. Down this way. I think we have to go down these stairs.
Okay, back up here. All right, here we go. Do a safe. <laughs> okay. What's going on over here? Wow. Oh, we're inside the rotunda. Look at those butterflies. They're like light butterflies. Two golden chests. Once again, a calamity befalls our people. If the predictions are correct, the meteor will hit the planet in just a few days. The cities we built, the splendors we made, will fall. Our arts, traditions, discoveries, and lives will vanish. Once again, the destruction is upon us. But this time, we will not flee, as we did generations ago. What is the point of running away when demise chases you so vigorously? Our fate is accepted. Being proud of what we were stayed true to our values. Our story will dis disappear under the ashes of flames and dust. Like a butterfly, life beautiful and evanescent, it's time to meet our end. All right, so these guys got destroyed by a meteor strike, eh? Except for not all their stuff did. All right, what do we got in here? Another production multiplier fuse, my word, okay. Oh, that's that's that must be these butterflies here. Oh, neat, okay. Let's consume those now. Look at that, a 1,500% multiplier. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers and yowzers. Okay, what about this one? Another one. That's some good stuff, man. Okay. So yeah, we'll make some, um, we'll make some butterfly thingies for that. And uh, how much space do I have? I have just enough room to take you apart take you apart and um let's eat and we'll grab the super and yeah we can leave the aluminum here oh that was neat that was pretty cool. So, you know, the only thing is, is it would have been nice if we could have, um, there's a screenshot if I ever saw one, if we could have gotten to that, like, I guess big ship or whatever it was that we, when we first discovered the wardens a long time ago, but we couldn't cross over to it. And, you know, be able to explore that. That would have been cool. All right. Well, um, let's, let's go back and finish exploring uh, the biome that uh, we started to explore until we got sidetracked by the wardens before we wrap up this episode. And this will probably be the very last exploration episode that we will do in Season 1. And then we'll have two new biomes and more story. Uh, when 1-0 comes out, and that'll be a lot of fun. Jetpack still doesn't work. There it goes. Now it works. Cool. Let's uh, do the usual here. Come on. Why won't you? Oh, because I have the wrong setting. That's why. A uh, duh. Let's grab this rare larva and this rare larva. We'll drink that. I've got four more slots. 
Uh, what are you? You're uncommon. Nah, I got a bunch of them. In fact, I have more uncommons now than I have rare. Here we go. Okay, we want this and this and this and this. The rest of that's not a big deal. Let's take it home. Oh! You can... You can label these. Oh. Okay, uh, so this is... Northwest region. We'll just call it that. And this is our home base. I just now noticed that. You guys have probably told me that in the comments, but again, I haven't seen them yet because I'm just chain recording these videos. Okay, so this is waterfall. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, where are we at, by the way, with our terraforming? 16.6%. It's a beautiful thing. Let's put stuff away and we'll head back and finish exploring that biome. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first, though? Um, you're a 600% butterfly and you're a 600%. Let's put the golden butterflies in here because these are 250s, except for I don't have room, so hold on. Okay, so I think all of my flower spreaders that I currently have down already have golden flowers in them. Um, well, actually... Yeah, that's a normal flower spreader. But yeah, it's got goldens in it. That's got goldens. That has goldens. Uh, looks like that one does. Yeah, they all do. Okay. So, let's put... Um, no. Actually, I want to be on this side, I think. Where are we at? Let's go back this way. Here we go. Okay, so we'll put, um, a golden in there and a golden in there. And then we're going to replace these lower level butterflies with the, with these guys. Oh, that's so cool, man. We'll have to check that out at nighttime and see how cool that looks. So that gives us some serious uh, insect uh, boost. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. 17.3%. All right, um, I'm gonna put these guys in here for now. Let's grab a food. Let's top off our food. And we'll grab a water and then head back. Just wanna finish, finish that biome before we uh, wrap things up. Let's also go to here. And I want to name this lakeside. Okay. Northwest region. Okay, let's keep looking around here. Again, we'll just kind of cover the perimeter and then we'll go up the middle. This would be a neat place to have a base though, I think. We're probably going to get out into no man's land over here. Yeah, as soon as it starts turning red like that, that means you're at the edge of the map. Okay, so let's uh, go around the outside here. It's, it's interesting, too, that we're seeing this for the first time, you know, when the planet's already mostly terraformed. It'll look a lot different early on, you know. Oh, here's the other uranium cave. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's just leave this here for now, and I can come back and get it later. 
there anything down in here? No, not really. Okay. Let's go look around this rock here. I can see them hiding in a chest or something over here. Over here, anyway. That's a little sketch looking down there. That would have been a place to hide a, a crate. <laughs> See that blue crate there, but we'll come back to that. I just want to finish kind of our perimeter sweep. Anything in this water? Negative. Okay. Yeah, there's a chest down there. And a zeolite. I guess we'll get the iron out of this. Oh, nice. Okay, so now we can make our own pulsar. That's good. That is really good. What is that? Ooh, a 600% butterfly larva. Nice. That's a nice find. Jeez. Uh, you're just normal larvas. You're you are a rare, so I guess we'll grab you. That was a really nice find. Okay, we're back to that satellite. So I think we've... Uh, I think we've covered the perimeter of this place. Now let's go down in and amongst the lower part. We did come down through here. And we saw this chest over this way. Well, hi, butterflies. Oh, look. I just noticed we have butterflies in the wild now. How long has that been happening? <laughs> Is it because we opened up the rotunda? I just, I'm literally just now noticing this. How, how long has it been this way? <laughs> I don't know. It's very cool though. It's very cool. Wow. Okay. We must have just passed another, well, we're not into the amphibian stage yet, but we probably just passed some little minor milestone that enabled those, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. Anything in here? Yeah, I could definitely see us uh, setting up a, a cool base in this area and just kind of utilizing the whole area, you know, making like a complex or something. So it's a possibility for season two. We'll just have to see. I got to say, though, man... Um, the waterfall is got to be one of the premier places in this game to have a base. It's a big, big struggle early on, but once you, you know, get your food under control, that was really the only thing, you know, that was really killing us was the food, literally killing us, the lack thereof, I should say. Um, but once we got that under control, you know, then it was pretty smooth sailing overall. Um... Okay, I think it's time for us to... Looks like they're bringing us another Osmium storm. I don't care about that stuff. Before we... Uh, we have three more slots. 
so let's just kind of finish because this will probably be our last trip unless I find another crate. This is very interesting looking right in through here. Okay. That's from the meteorite. Just checking out the final little spots here. Okay, yeah, so we will keep this place um, in mind as a possible option for season two. But of course, we want to see what the new biomes are too, and you know, what the options are for starter areas. But, you know, we can start wherever the hell we want to and just move when the time comes. All right. Let's just grab a couple of osmium since we have two more slots left. Uh, that's a cobalt. Can't get to any of it. It's all buried under here. All right, well, we'll grab a sulfur then, I guess. <laughs> we have too much of that. All right, guys, well, I'm going to take this stuff back to the base and come back, grab my teleporter, and then go the long way home. And uh, we are... We're at 19% uh, towards the amphibian stage. So not sure what I'll do off camera. Um, oh, you know one thing I do want to look at though, actually before I let you go, what does it take to make... Oh, where do we, where do we make the uh, pulsar crystals? I would have thought we would have made them in there. Do we make them in the bio lab? Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Um, we can handle that. Uh, I'll probably... Uh, oh, I know what I'm, I'm going to actually do. I'll probably do this off camera because... Um, or maybe I'll, I'll do the first one or do one of them on camera, but I, I'm going to set up tier three extractors. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to set up tier three extractors at the, let's see, we'll probably do one. We do, oh, look at that. We do have an osmium. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's the cave that went under the water into the canyon. So we'll set one up there for sure. Um, we'll set one up at the zeolite spot. We might as well do one at um, the uranium cave, this uranium cave, because it's just closer. Not that that matters now that we have teleporters so much anymore, but yeah. We'll set one up there and... We might do an iridium too, just so we have it, and an aluminum, but we're not using a whole lot of those resources anymore, so we'll just kind of see how all that goes. But definitely, um, yeah, we could we could maybe do obsidian, but we haven't really used a lot of obsidian, at least not yet. But we'll definitely do an osmium, we'll do a zeolite, um... If the game keeps throwing 
super alloy storms at me like crazy. Um, we could do one there and uranium and then we'll just kind of see where we are. But anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.